If you've ever been part of any hardware discussion, then chances are you've heard of the term workstation. We use it all the time in our videos. And while at least as far as our videos are concerned, you could usually get the gist of what workstations are in the context. Today, we'll be dedicating this entire video to workstations. What exactly they are, what they're used for, and how well they stack up against gaming PCs. So, without any further ado, let's begin. The term workstation is used to refer to a computer that was made to suit the needs of a professional. Some companies sell pre-made workstation computers, but you can put together a workstation from scratch just like you would any other type of PC. Now, we've said these PCs are used by professionals, but this is a broad term that can encompass everything from scientists and engineers to architects and graphic designers, just to name a few. The specifications of workstations will depend on what profession they're used for, although as a rule, Rule, workstations have very powerful CPUs and much more RAM memory than you would ever need in a gaming PC. And because workstations are used for more demanding tasks, they're made with specialized components which were made to last a long time, all the while running at peak performance. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? So let's take a look at how different workstations are from gaming PCs, hardware by hardware. Like we've mentioned, a powerful CPU is one of the defining characteristics of a workstation. And it's easy to see why, given how often they have to handle complex computational tasks. That's why the Intel Core i7 and the Ryzen 7 CPUs are used only in budget and some mid-range workstations. The most popular workstation CPUs are the Intel Core i9 and the AMD Ryzen Threadripper. They're the most optimal solution because they offer great performances at a reasonable price. Of course, the most powerful workstations will go a step further than this and use an Intel Xeon or an AMD Epic CPU, which are manufactured primarily for servers because of how good they are for multitasking and processing high volumes of data. So as you can see, the most high-end CPUs that you could ever need for gaming are only entry-level solutions for workstations. The only reason you could ever have for running a game with anything more powerful than an i7 or a Ryzen 7 is if you use your workstation for gaming as well. If the CPU is the most important component in a workstation, then the GPU is the most important in a gaming PC. But this isn't to say that workstations don't need good GPUs. At least some of them do. The ones made for graphics-heavy tasks such as photo and video editing, 3D modeling, and such. In these cases, the workstations will have one of the following GPU brands. First, there are the NVIDIA GeForce and the AMD Radeon RX. You should be well familiar with these if you're a gamer, but many workstations use them as well, sometimes in multi-GPU configurations. The second brands that they use are NVIDIA Quadro and AMD Radeon Pro. Chances are you haven't heard about these and that's because they're pure workstation GPUs. They have more video memory, higher memory bandwidth, and overall a higher processing power than gaming graphics cards. This sounds just like the thing you'd want to put in a high-end gaming PC, so why is it that gamers don't know about these GPUs? It's not a conspiracy theory, trust us. It's just that they're optimized for GPU-heavy software and not for games. So while their on-paper specs may be better, they could actually perform worse for gaming. The next thing we have to talk about is the RAM memory, another workstation staple. Whenever we've talked about RAM, we always mention that you don't need a lot of it for gaming. As little as 8GB of RAM is actually more than enough for gaming, and sometimes even 16GB can be an overkill. So if you're wondering why it is that your motherboard can support well over 100GB of RAM when you only need 8GB for gaming, well, now you know. Workstations are why. You'll be hard-pressed to find a workstation with less than 32GB of RAM, and some high-end ones can have 128GB, or even 256GB of RAM. What's more, workstations commonly rely on ECC RAM, which improves stability and prevents data corruption. There's one aspect where workstations aren't that much different for gaming, except that workstations will always use higher-end capacity storage devices. Modern workstations favor SSDs because of their speed, but because they often need to store large volumes of data, they also usually have HDD storage units with several terabytes of space. 
Not much is different between the motherboards that workstations and gaming PCs use, except that the workstation ones may utilize different chipsets and sockets designed for more powerful CPUs with listed. Additionally, some users will opt for motherboards that have additional RAM and PCIe slots, depending on what they need. Dual CPU motherboards are much more appropriate in workstations than in gaming PCs, but they're still not far too common here and are used mostly for servers. So let's answer the question that every gamer among you has thought of. Are workstations good for gaming? Any decent workstation will perform just as well as a high-end gaming PC if it has a good enough GPU, since it'll never be lacking the CPU power or RAM capacity. But if it uses a more affordable GPU with limited VRAM, then it won't. No amount of RAM or CPU can make up for that. And like we've said, the GPUs that were made specifically for workstations will often not be optimized for gaming, although they should be powerful enough for the performance margin to be negligible. So it all depends on the GPU. But in most cases, the answer is yes. The same though could not be said for using a gaming PC as a workstation. I mean, if a PC can run a certain piece of software, then you could call it a workstation. But a PC with specifications aimed towards gaming will take ages to process and render everything it needs to process and render. And there you have it, everything you need to know about workstations. Just because they can run games, then that doesn't mean that you should get them for gaming. In fact, you definitely shouldn't because they would cost you way too much. But if you are one of those people who game on workstations, then please share your thoughts on this down in the comment section. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.